When I was a senior in college, my roommate and I lived in a room above the house mother's room that had a little porch on it, which had a drain in it, of course. It was Seattle, after all, and it did rain. Well, we decided it would be a great place for goldfish. So we covered up the drain so it wouldn't leak, and we used buckets from the bathroom and filled it with water. But before we could get the goldfish in, which would have been the next day, that night at dinner, the house mother was just all upset. She said, I can't believe it's rained this much. There's just water coming down into my apartment. And we just went, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't intend it to be a prank. But we just went along with it and said, oh, gosh, yes, it's been raining quite a bit. <laughs> Bobby, what was a prank that someone pulled on you that sticks in your memory? Thank you, Madam Chief of Public School School. I feel like a fool even speaking of this on April Fool's Day. <laughs> April Fool's Day has always been fun for me in a way, but I racked my brain, actually today, I racked my brain the entire day trying to think of a good, really good April Fool's joke. I have come up with nothing. And I'm at the DOT. Apparently, our bosses have the same idea that you should not pull April Fool's jokes because whether it's a written thing or just an unspoken thing or whatever, I don't know. But no one, well, finally at 4.45, one person finally did try to pull an April Fool's joke on me. It was nothing too drastic or whatever. I am having trouble thinking of a prank that was pulled on me. I do remember in high school that even though it wasn't April Fool's, it was Halloween, and I certainly wasn't involved. I want you to know this right now. <laughs> but some of the guys decided that it would be a kill to take a cow into the school. <laughs> so they took a real cow into the school, and at that time it was built with you know, steps clear up and whatever. And it ended up getting put into the superintendent's room. Another time, they took an outhouse into the school, which I don't remember exactly what happened there, but those were some pretty wild things that some of my classmates and upper classmates did when I was in school. Back to the April Fool's joke, I lament the fact that I have a terrible time trying to think of a good joke or a prank. I guess I'm just too nice. I can't be mean to other people.